Hey guys, it's me, I'm a trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome to the Crafter After Show, where we get to talk about whatever we want to talk about, and we always do. Now, in the show tonight, we're going to look at some across the miles. That's some stuff that you guys have sent in to us. We love getting content <clears throat> from you guys, seeing how creative you are and the beautiful work that you do. Uh, we're always grateful for the things that you guys send in. And then after that, we do a segment where we look at the new product, what's new in the store. And we'll also look at some restocks that have come back in too. And there's an enormous amount of stuff that we're going to go through tonight. So we're going to try to go quick. We are going to try to go quick, guys, because um, it's 20 till 7 and we have vacation Bob school at 9 a.m. in the morning. So we are going to have to go kind of quick. Let's start with show mail. Or, look, they call this show mail. It says live show mail. This is across the miles. Let's start with this. So this is a envelope from Connie Woods. It just says May May on it. Let's see what this is. Oh my goodness, it's zebra, zebra, zebra stuff. Let's see what this is. So it looks like there's something for me to read. I'm going to put that off to the side. Look at this zebra. Zebra. A zebra. Is this a photo album? What is this? Oh, it's like a journal book or like a um, notepad. Isn't that cute in zebra? Sweet. And this as well. Thank you, Connie. That's very sweet of you. I appreciate that. My kids are laughing tonight. Who was it Josh was saying? You remember zebra? Oh, I know what it was. Um, I had some chairs that I had put black covers over and the covers had kind of gotten worn and I took them off. And so there were zebra print underneath. And even I forgot they were zebra print underneath. And Josh was like, mommy, remember when everything was zebra print? I said, dude, now it's Buffalo Jack, right? It just yep. cycles in and out. I still have a lot of zebra print though. So thank you, Connie, for that. I love that. Thank you so much. Arlene, you're probably right. She's probably not going to fly through it, but she's going to give gonna it a shot. I'm going to try to. I'm already what? I'm going to try to. Y'all know me. Oh, look at this. I got to show you this way. Hold on, hold on. Happy belated birthday, Meme. I've included a note in a separate envelope. I'm so very sorry. This is late. Oh, this is from, this is from Connie. Oh, thank you, Connie. And it says, P.S. Jet and Corbin send hugs. Look at this. Look. That's cool, right? Her little pop-up card. How cool is that? Thank you, Connie. That is so sweet. And let me see what this one is. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, who's this from? All right. This is to Vinny. I'm so sorry for how late this card is in arriving to you. Please know you are forever in our hearts and prayers. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. And then look how pretty. It sits up like this. Cool. I got to get it to, it's been flat for a little bit. It's been flat. Look at that. It sits up. Isn't that pretty? How cool. I love that. I hate to tell you what this says. <laughs> look how beautiful this card is. And then I'm going to read this sentiment to you. Isn't it beautiful? It says, I regret to inform you your childhood has expired. <laughs> It's so well, funny. Yeah, that's true. So funny. Okay. I don't know who these are from. Maybe it'll show up. Who is this for? Okay. This is for Brenda and it's closed up. I'm not going to open it, but Brenda has a gift. She's out of town for what? Another week after this? 10 days. She was gone for 10 full days. So she'll be out of town a little while, but we'll let her open that when she comes home. Cause I don't want to open her stuff. All right. Look at this pretty card, Vinny Boo. It says happy birthday. Oh, wow. Oh, look. If this is not from nope, it's from walk in the woods. Patty, I think that says oars burn or sores burn. That is beautiful. You love taking a walk in the woods. I do. Uh Michelle, the um member discount cannot be used on the Misty product. That one is to me. That's not one for camera, by the way. That was to me. Okay. That's why I just I gotta show y'all this. So we had the pleasure. Um, before I keep going, you didn't get to tell, um, Pat, Patsy, thanks for your card. I was talking. Oh yeah. That was the one to take a walk in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Okay. This card is from Linda. <laughs> Let me see if I know. Does she know Linda C that's what we'll say. Cause that's how she has it listed this beautiful card. Okay. Look at this pretty, this is very pretty. And it was for me. She wrote, she wrote something pretty for me and um, explained it to me and all that. But here's what I want to show you. This is, she puts this on every card she does. She draws this and it's basically her signature. It goes on the back of every card she makes. Isn't that beautiful? And um, if you look, you see this L, you see the L in her name. If you turn this sideways, I hope I'm saying this correctly. If you turn this sideways, 
you can see her ale. She mixes it in there. <clears throat> and I just think that's so cool how she has her own little signature. Oh, that's that cool. And she said, you always know it's from her because everybody um, has that signature on the back of it. And Linda came to see us from Texas. I think I've already told y'all about Linda coming to see us. I think we talked about that in one of the shows. All right. Let me see what this is. There's a couple of things here. Yeah, LA, I don't know who approved Shannon going on vacation, but it seems to happen every year the first week of June. So that's where she's at. At the beach. This is from Mickey. These are mini crocheted coasters. Mini meaning M-A-N-Y. Mini coasters. Mostly cats and, oh, I see. Mostly cats and dogs to share with, with everyone at the store. It's not much, but they are made with love. And she says, um, she says, thank you to our team. She was here and visited and really enjoyed her time. Look how cute these are. Oh, my goodness, a kitty cat. Oh, my goodness. You know who needs some of these? This feels like Jenna and Thomas. I feel like I could match their dogs. You know it? We could match Hershey, and we can match all of the kitties, which I cannot remember all their names. And they're Bean and Lincoln. and I don't know. There's the so kitties. many of them. So many kitties. She's a, she's a cat mom. She's a fur mom all together. Look how cute. Thank you so much for these. There are a bunch. We can share these around. These are great. Thank you so much for those. I love nice. Posters. I love coasters and I love dish towels. Y'all know it too because y'all send them to me all the time and I love it. Y'all know I can't remember last time I bought a dish towel. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Look at this sweet as a peach. Is that peach ice cream just like we would have here? It is, I think. Life is sweeter with you. How sweet is that? Let me look at the note that came with it. <clears throat> Let's see. This is from Gloria Davis. Hi, May May, Vinny, Shannon, and May May crew. May May, I know you. Love anything peach, so this card is for you. I say nothing is better than peach ice cream, see? Uh, thank mm -hmm. you for the things you do. I want to say, <clears throat> since I've started watching you in 2022, I don't miss any lives if I can. I love everything, so don't change. I hope to be able to um, do an online crop soon. Take care and God bless. Gloria Davis. Thank you, Gloria. Are you here tonight? I hope so. This is adorable. I love it. I love peachy. I do How love sweet. peachy anything. It's actually peach month in our county. And wow, are we doing the peach stuff this month? So much. Okay. And then there's a note here that I will read because I'm not, it doesn't say for camera. So I'll read that later. There's a note. Thank y'all so much for the mail. That was a lot of mail. Not, it wasn't like, I mean, I don't think I did that. Did I go through it quick? I think I did. You did good. I think I did. Cause now I feel like I've been challenged. <laughs> you threw down then the gauntlet. I called you out. You threw down the gauntlet. Not just you. All right, can she go fast? What do y'all think? Can she go fast? Y'all, yeah. it's so much. Can do you see this? Especially if you start smelling product, it'll never happen fast. You see that blue edge? That's a wagon. That's what this is. <clears throat> All right, where are we starting? I don't even know where to start. Since some of this is just re-ups, it won't be too hard. Some of this is just stuff that you've been waiting to come back and stock. So Amber just put it all together for you. T-square rulers, back in stock. How about I do that? I'll just do like back in stock like kind of quick. Yeah. Um, Craft Perfect foam tape in black, back in stock. <clears throat> Shannon's favorite dies. These are the Spellbinders dies that are, I think they're called postage. Postage edge circles, postage edge ovals, back in stock. Shannon loves those. I think she uses them every project. Let me see what else I can do back in stock with. Um, back in stock. This is Eileen's mat board that works great with her dies. That is back in stock. Is this too fast for you guys to do it this way? I feel kind of like, eh. No, I think the back in stock you can do like that. That's not a problem. Oh, three pack of white jelly roll pins back in stock. This is the fine, medium, and the bold. This is the perfect set of jelly rolls right here. It's every one you need. Oh, our favorite tool. This is the ergonomic bone folder. Um, let's see if I can find mine to show you because I think it's at the other table. It is at the other table. This is fantastic. Like I want to give a tutorial on everything, on everything. <gasps> Back in stock photo crops. Remember these? These are fantastic. These are the little plastic that you can see through so you can cut your photos out just right. Love that one. Magnets. Back in stock. These are the smalls. This is 
technically back in stock, even though I just used it tonight. We This was our second order of these because yep. y'all bought them out the first time I showed them. Oh, I see some back in stock. You're going to really, really be excited about um, this is dental threaders. It's not, they call this flexi needle threaders. It looks a lot like a dental threader. This is fantastic for threading like, um, twine and things through small holes. So those are back in stock. We try to keep those. Look what's back in stock. I could not be happier. I promise y'all we had this on order for two years. Didn't we? It seems like it, it took forever for this to come back in stock. This is the Nuvo stamp cleaning pad. And I'm just going to get mine and show y'all nobody, nobody worry. Nobody think I'm not being fast, Vinny Boo. I'm not. This is what I think it looks you're like. doing great. Looks like this. When you open it up, it has two furry pads on either side. And what you do is you squirt one side with your squeaky clean like that. Then you take your stamp and you, I'm going to try to do this in the air. You scrub it in. I know, isn't it fun, Eileen? We have so much more. I have an entire wagon. Look at that. You scrub it in on this side to clean it. And then, because you didn't have squeaky on this side, this side's dry, you do this to dry it. I'm telling you, we waited two years to get this back. I'm really I mean, not forever. joking. forever. Not joking. It is back in stock, and I'm so excited. And as long as we can get them, we'll get them. Because it really is my favorite one of the cleaners. I've had a lot of these. The size of this one, the way it holds up, it is my favorite. So y'all go grab that. We do have peach squeaky clean on order. Oh, so. it's, it's out? It says it's out of stock, oh. or Bonnie says it's out of stock again. Oh, okay. So we need to get more of that. All right. Then let me see what this is. Martha oh. said the photo crops are sold out again already. They're a little rectangle one? I guess. Are we sure about that? Okay. Elizabeth Tate. This is the 10 millimeter. And for those of us who don't do millimeters, this one is just under half an inch just at three eighths of an inch. So there's that one. These guys, I tell you about these all the time. If you don't buy these for anything else, get them for these two little box. So you can keep them right at your fingertips like I do to cut your sticky tape. These are fantastic, but they also work for other things too. You can use them for other projects, but uh, for stamping with, but I love these guys and this one for cutting sticky tape. So those are back in stock. I got to move some of this. It's getting too messy. Y'all know my brain won't do it. My brain won't do it, man. You okay. can move. Okay. Next. Ah, oh, these. I'm so glad these are back. These are a 50-piece A2 card set. They are fantastic. It comes with your envelopes and your A2 card base. And y'all know me. I don't like to make a base. I like to have them pre-made with an envelope to go with them. These are back. I'm so excited. Okay, so she thinks the circles are out of stock, she said. Which that may yeah, be the case. She did said, my bad, the circles are what's sold out. That may be the case. Oh, I got to show y'all this because y'all love them. The Mono Sand Eraser is back. If you don't know what the Mono Sand Eraser is. Um, it just about will erase anything. And this one is, is this different? This Mono Sand Eraser is two-sided. Uh, I think it does ink on one side, pencil on the other. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, but my other one doesn't. That, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I didn't know that. My other one, I think, was just a sand eraser. So this is the double. That's really cool. So that means I get an ink sand eraser over here and a regular pencil. And that is so good because I'm always using a pencil. There and my go. erasers are not great. Okay, this one's mine. But that's back. That's in stock if you're looking for it. It's the mono sand eraser. That's mine. Okay, the curvy address elope. Now, if you don't know what this is, let me pull mine, which is right here. This is mine. This is my curvy one. And what you do is you put this on your envelope. Let's pretend this is an envelope. And it will let you write. And these lines will let you write a curvy address like this and a curvy return address. It's so cute. Look, they have it on here. Now, Oka, we can no longer get the craft keepers. No. We have been trying to find something different. They and discontinued the craft keepers. They discontinued yep. them. So we cannot the company, purchase them even. anymore. I was like, no. But they did. They don't, they didn't listen. Here's what I'm using right now in place of that, by the way, I'll show you this in a second. I'm using the 49 and market envelopes, which I love. This is the, is this 12 by 12 or 13? Let me measure it for you guys. How did my ruler get under that pile of stuff that fast? I just used it. Dana wants to know if those erasers will work on cellulite. No, gosh, I wish they had that. So this is a 12 and a half. And I think by 12 and a half, yeah, 
no 12 and a half by 13 um, pocket. And this one has the Velcro closure. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one is a smaller one. I want to say we have this in like three or four sizes. This is a six and a half by eight and a half, which would be perfect for your six by eight papers and also your stamp sets. That'd be a good one for stamps and die sets together. Those are back in stock. They've been in stock before. Um, wow, she loaded me up. I'm telling y'all. The Lost Shadow Ink back in stock. Walnut Stain back in stock. Those are some of my faves. Let me show y'all. Here's the three I keep right next to me. One, two, three. So, you know, those are right here at my hand. All right, next, let me pull these out. So, we were using Simon's inks earlier. Wow. All these are back. There's a lot. We're going to just run through the colors real quick. There's a you lot. You probably can just say they're all back. I don't know that it's 100% um, all raise back. Raise your hand if you want to see the colors. But I think they're back. Raise your hand if you want to see the colors. Oh, look, Vintage Photo, my other one. <laughs> the three I just showed you. So Vintage Photo is back. Yep. We've had two semi-truck deliveries in the past. Yes. Oh, yes. The tiny envelope dies back. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I love this little guy. It's so cute. Up, oh, Memento Dew Drop um, in Tuxedo Black, back in stock. Let me put these in here. I'm just trying to get the little stuff out while I'm down here. Oh, the trimmer blades, the Dress My Craft trimmer blades back in stock. I like seeing all the back in stocks. We don't always do that. This is something new and I really like it. Yep. Because it helps me know what's back in stock too. All right, here's your colors. Ready? Clear skies, cookie dough, remember me. Listen, here's what we got to do. In the comments, I'm just, this is going to be a mess. In the comments, y'all got to make a story out of these names. You got to come up with like a Mad Lib out of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was clear skies. The day we ate cookie dough. Do you remember me? So we're going to now make sentences. Huh? When I got beast, I got a bee sting. <laughs> that's funny. Come on, babe. That's good. Y'all come on. You it can is. do it. And my cheek, and I had rosy cheeks. Because it was slippery when it was wet. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up at this point. And we said, later, Gator, when we left. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, we could do a tropical tango. And I said, triple berry. <laughs> and there was a shooting star in the sky. Ugh. When the prom queen and king walked by. Come on, I, I could do this. You're right? doing pretty good, storyteller. I could do it. I could do it. Let's keep going. Grr. Woof. All the animals said under the weeping willow. Oh, my. You're impressed. Don't say you're not. Roar. Psych. <laughs> there was no lion. And now I'm break up blue because you said I lied to you. Get it? Mm, yeah. Roar. There's psych. And I lied to you. And we left piggyback. Overzealously, I added L Y. There's no L Y on that one. Mm. Hey, crown me because I did it. Come on, you guys can do it too. That's too much fun. <laughs> Is anybody trying? Everybody just thinks I'm weird. That's okay. I'm weird. Back Proud in stocks. Back in stocks. Look at this one. Love this. This is our scrubber. Here's mine. Woo! That's the pokey tool. Want to make an appearance? Here's my scrubber. Actually, I have two. No shame in my game. There are two of them sitting here next to me. What I like the scrubber for, because I bet now that I've got my other one back in stock, you guys are going to be asking why we'd want both. I like this one for when I'm just wanting to hit it really quick. You know, just mist and go. Just mist and go. I like that. And also, I like to have a backup because I struggled to get that one when I needed it. This is a picket fence stencil that I really, really like. Because you know how me and Chandler are always taking scallop circles and making cloud stencils? Well, now we don't have to because that's what this does. This is one you need to keep in your collection so you can have clouds whenever you just need them, right? Just keep it at your desk and then you can just ink and you can use your brushes. I almost picked up yellow. You want yellow clouds. But you can use your brushes around the edges like this and get those beautiful clouds, different shapes. I think this is a brilliant one. I think this is really good the way they did this. So that one is available. What is this? Oh, this is 
the waffle flower media mat. Mine is here. I'm not, no, that's my stencil mat. No, that's my media mat. Okay, there's my media mat. And somewhere is my stencil mat, but that's the media mat. Somebody asked me one time what this was for. It's really, really good for a palette, and it's also a good way to protect your work surface when you're doing things. They actually call it a nonstick, waterproof, and heat resistant um, media mat. So it's really good. And it's supposed to stick to your work surface. And mine is a little bit dusty because it's been up in my shelf and it's trying to stick. Y'all see it trying to stick? There it goes. But it's pretty dusty. You can literally see the dust on it. But that's my mini one. I have the full size, the mini, and the stencil. I love them. Okay. These guys, what I just showed you, back in stock. These are the brushes. And I have two sets. I have one up there for my pigments, and these are for my dye. Love these. Oh, and while I'm showing you that, because if you're going to go shopping for the brushes, you want to pick this up. This is the stand that holds the brushes, okay? And this one is mine, and I'll tell you why. Because I got two sets, and that's why I'm using a cup. Can I put this together real quick? Why not? Um, it won't be super fast. Kind of fast. I love this thing. The first thing you have to do is you have to get the plastic off of here. I do not recommend using this screwdriver because it might scratch. But look, it comes off of both sides. See how quickly I can do this. Why did I say that? Right. Okay, so I'm getting this off of both sides. So you get a clear, it's a clear piece. See that? And I tell you what, I'm going to tell you the next step. And then if I see some questions, he might need to ask. Um, there's one side. I'm going to get the other one off. And then all you do is you screw the little legs on. And you can watch me do that real quick. Or there's some, I saw some questions. Uh, they want you to demo cutting the sticky tape with the clear block. Oh, okay. Don't let me forget. I'll do that next. All right. So what, whoa, that was really close. I hope I didn't do that. Okay. What you get here is you get two little legs and four little screws. So, I can't remember which is top. This is the bottom. Okay. You put the little screw through there and you put this little guy on it and you get it started. Just like that. Then I go ahead and tighten that one. I say this like I make these all the time. I've only ever made one. So, you see, I'm doing this from memory. So, it ain't too hard. I'm going to put this right here. Then twist this guy down. Shannon's going to be so happy we have another one of these when she comes in. Because they look so cute on our shelf is the reason. <laughs> All right. And then oh, let me show you this too. There's little pieces of plastic. When you peel that plastic off that gets stuck between the, between the letters. And you're going to want to take the time to peel that away. I may not do that tonight. But you're going to want to get those little pieces off. You see how they're kind of matte? All right. Then this guy sits on the top. You put the screw in there. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, like a small one, you, it would be so, so good to use here. Just to kind of hold this up. All right, so there's that one. Also, these are um, drilled so that your screws will sink in. You'll see that when you get it. So there's like a right way and a wrong way because you want your screws to kind of sink in. This is how hard it is to put together. It is now together. Isn't that great? I saved these. These tools are too good to throw away. I'll put it in here and use it. And then look, here's what happens. Then your brushes stand up in here. I'm going to lean this so you can see it. See what they do? They go in this hole, and then they, they brace right there, so you can put all your brushes in. Not going to take time to do it. I told you we're in a hurry, but these are back in stock. I don't know how long they'll last, but we will reorder, because those go really quick. Okay, next. We use these tonight. Back in stock. Oh, the big foam is back in stock. You guys, when I showed you how to use this in the, um, I don't have that album in here. When I showed you how to use this in the album I made the other day to make that closure, you bought this up. And I think you should. I think this is a great product for folios. When we're wanting to add things um, dimensionally to the front of folios, this product, because it is so wide, you can die cut it, fussy cut it, shape cut it, and it, it's the whole back of the image or the item that you put down. So it's so, so nice to have that much foam underneath something. It makes it very sturdy. Um, that stuff sold out the next day as soon as I showed y'all. Okay, I got to hurry because there's so much. 
All right. Shaker Garland. Back in stock. Back in stock. Back in stock. Y'all bought this up, too, as soon as we showed you. It went gone. It went gone, didn't it, babe? Uh, Clack wants to know, can you laser cut that foam tape? I don't know. Maybe you can find out if you're going to get in my lane. That's what I'm going to say. If you're going to be in my lane. Y'all, look, everybody here wants Clack in our lane. If you want somebody in your lane, it's Clack, right? That's what you want. And look at this. It's so cute. Look at the little... um. The little sticky, what is that? Peppermint candies? This one is called Wishes. Let me open it like this. Look at this. Look at this. So cute. And these guys, if you've not used this yet, Tabitha, can you link the video where I showed this and the shaker sheets? By the way, I think I have shaker sheets back in. Yep, look. Shaker sheets are back in stock. You guys bought these up too. This is so fun. Making this card was so much fun using these guys. And I think you guys will love it if you haven't. If she can link that video for you, it would be great. Did I tell y'all that the solid white ones were back in stock? Did I tell you these punches were back? Uh, uh, pouncers. The reason you want these, I'll show you. Like for me, this is my tuxedo black one. Now they do make this in a brown, a tan, and a black. And those are coming. But this is the one that I, see, I've already, I haven't used it. I marked this for tuxedo black and I marked, I did two of these today. I did another one. Here it is for onyx black. So I can know which one is which from my black ones. So there's that. All right. Where am I at? Where am I at? These guys, listen to me, y'all. Listen, I'm going to pause here for a second. Okay. Just a minute. These albums, I have ordered, okay, we ordered all that one distributor had. Every one they had. I contacted Janine. She had some. I bought every one she had. And there might be one more distributor that has some on the shelf. And after those, they're gone. So there might be one more restock of these pre-made albums, but there might not be. It's going to be if I can get them. This should be all I can get, but I'm not positive. There was a chance that somebody got to order in. A, there's a chance a distributor got to order in before me. And if that's the case, I'm going to order from that distributor, but I'm waiting to find out. <laughs> so this is what we got. So y'all need to get these. They are amazing. Okay. Amazing. You need to grab those albums, especially for Christmas. If you're wanting to make albums for folks, they're perfect. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know this. Um, white felt, classic green felt, and blue felt back in stock. That's awesome. And the red should be on its way. <gasps> perfect. 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 This is back in stock. My favorite ream of cardstock. If you, if you haven't purchased this, you need to. You won't be sad. This 110 pound, it is not cover stock. It's 110 pound cardstock. It is so great for your card bases. It's great when you just want to try something on a piece of white cardstock. It's not so precious that you can't do it. Tamitha, remind me how much this is. I cannot remember, but it's such a good price for 150 sheets. And I, mean, I it's, love it's it. It's dirt cheap it for is. that I much. I can't remember, but I'll let her look and tell me. Okay, let me get, there's new paper, but I'm not opening paper yet. We're going to get there. You guys. This punch came in and I think got put in the wrong place and you guys didn't even realize we had it, nor did I. That is true. This is the multi-punch functional and it is called the multi-punch, but it is the, they should have called it the party punch. I don't know if they did or not, <laughs> but it punches circles, confettis, squares, double holes. Like if you want to do a buttonhole and let me see what else is on here. So the double hole, the square, the confetti go in one direction, confetti go in another, and then another circle. So if you were looking for a, the different one, the newer one, this is the newer one of the original. Here's the original. It does circles in different sizes. Works like this. This one is new. Okay, so we just got that one. Did she put that paper price up yet? $19.99. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, then... Gosh, I can't reach the other side. I need to swim. Let me see if I can switch this around a little bit. Here we go. Can you get it? You need me to come help? Got it. Okay. This is a new product from 49 and Market. This is not a restock. So I get to take a second, right? Hey, Shannon. She did come on. She loves us. She couldn't stand it. She's just it. coming to judge us. Um, 
<laughs> She'd be like, y'all can do better when I'm there. Hey, look, this is a new product from 49 and Market. I love these. These bands, you can buy them. I want to say we have more colors coming too, not just the black, gray, and the white. Pretty sure it might have only been these. I can't remember, but these bands are elastic. Okay. See this? And here's what they're used for. They're used for your albums to close them. You see what, this? What Shannon just did was to call, to comment in, to rub in to all of us cruise. that she's suffering on a sunset cruise. Ah, uh, her life. <laughs> you deserve every second of it. I hope you enjoy it Amen. so much. Have fun, girl. Enjoy it. Enjoy that family and enjoy that sunset too. And send me pictures. Um, so look how cool these are. Look at this rubber band thing to close with. The other thing I think is so cool. I don't know. Let me see. I don't have a full size composition book, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use these with composition books too. I'm just showing you all my notes. That was my to-do list, by the way, an old one, but I think you'll be able to put this, this one, it's too big for this, but you know, the full size composition books, um, I think this would be great for that. These just came in, Tamitha, like today this afternoon is there a chance they're not live yet i might that might be a man if shannon was here <laughs> but these are great black white and gray these are not going to be only used for these albums okay you can actually use these on other things that you want those little out you know you know how people have these little things to hold their books together and hold paper in love them <clears throat> all right next Okay, I asked Amber to bring this back in before July, okay, because I love Triple Thick. If you don't know, here's what happened. We were at uh, the crop, and I was seeing some people using stamps and dies to make jewelry, and they were using that UV resin, which there's nothing wrong with the UV resin, nothing at all. And when I saw it, I thought, you know what? This reminds me of the triple thick. And I didn't have to have any special tools, okay? I didn't have to have a special resin or a light or anything. This product goes on what you do and leaves that domed finish. It's a brilliant brush-on gloss glaze. And you get, there's three sizes. It's the same. But if you just want to test it, try this, okay? But honestly, this one right here is the one you want. I'm going to read it to you. Create a clear, high-gloss finish with one coat on hard surfaces. The extra, the extra thick glaze adds depth, okay? I have a video on my channel from a long time ago where I turned this into charms for hair bands. And what I did was I used my stamps. As a matter of fact, it's one of the, char one of the hair bands I had made for Lydia. Yeah. Um, I used my stamps, cut it out, colored it, and then I used this triple thick and put a little... Um, what I put on the back of the charm? Nothing. I glued it straight on the hairband, but you can turn them into earrings, anything. So your stamp sets can then become jewelry. And it's so cute, but it doesn't just have to be that. You can use it on anything that you want to have like that thick shine. This does it. There's videos everywhere about it. It's fantastic. And I'm glad we have it back, especially in time for Christmas in July. There's a hint. Okay. We like gifts at Christmas in July, right? We like to teach people things. Okay. Hold on. This, let me see. I think there's some more colors of this in. Let me check. You're making me hurry and I feel like I'm hurrying too fast, but you can take your time. You don't have to hurry. There's just still it's so only seven fifteen. I'm only halfway through. I but it's only seven fifteen. I haven't even doing flipped good. through paper. Enjoy yourself. It's I am enjoying cool myself. Stuff. I love this. All of these things. Now, these we found at Creativation. Love, love, love these. Now, this, did I show you all this one? I think this may be a restock. The Simple Vintage Essentials. I think that's a restock. I'm not going to show you all that one yet because it's a new paper pack. I'm going to make you wait on that one. Okay. So, what these are, Simple Stories has created these packs called Color Vibes. They remind me. So stinking cool. They remind me of kind of the Mente packs. You know how you could get the ones that you could use with anything? What's cool about this, though, if you're a Simple Stories lover, this will help you match some of their colors because, you know, these are going to be the colors that they're using. This paper pad is six by eight. So yeah, they're six by eight. This is summer. This is darks, and they are beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I want to open this, but I don't want to because, oh, look at that. So pretty. That green, though. Where's Shannon? Let me show her that green. 
Oh, look at that green. Shannon is on vacation. She'll still like that green. Okay. She and can then see it when she gets home. The basics. So these are some of our favorite colors. Um, by the way, they don't have dots on them because you might wonder. They're not dotted. I'm opening this one. It's mine. I want the dark one anyway. Okay. Might as well. Okay. I want this one. See, they're not dotted. Look how gorgeous this is. Every Oh, they are dotted on the back side. So you basically get two options. Okay. This is so good for masculine. That's what I was thinking, Mama Disney. This pack right here, anytime you needed a masculine color, it's right here. Mix this with this guy, and you are set and ready to go. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one is a new set. Did I show you all this already? Why do I feel like I did? Did I not? I can't remember. Oh, my goodness. You got so many, so many, so many. Oh, I haven't even seen some of these. Oh, brand new product. I'm going to set that right there. <laughs> did I show you this? Jim wants to know what you mean by dotted. Um, let me show you. Where to put it? Right here. Polka dotted. Polka. All right. Can you see the dots? Let me get it where you can. Excuse me. Let me get it to focus. There it goes. See the dots? There's dots on one side and not on the other. Dots and a knot. <laughs> dots and not. Some dots and not. I know. I feel like a kid in a candy store. I really do. Oh, I just don't know. I love this. I came in today and saw this product and I was like, I just want to take a picture of it. I just want to look at it. Just hug it and pet it. Okay. Nobody said I showed y'all this. So I'm going to show y'all. I showed the wood grains, but I didn't show you this one. Look at this. Also found this at Creativation. The same time I found Eileen at Creativation. No, not the same time, but the same weekend. Look how cute this pack is. Look at this. I have to smell it. I didn't. Oh, that's different. You know why it's different? Because the cardboard has its own smell. It's two smells in one. That's cool right there. Two smells in one. Uh, not textured. This paper is not textured. Look how gorgeous. She's asking about the dots. Or, uh, yeah. Not it, textured. Is it textured on the paper or printed on the paper? Printed, not textured. Look at this. This is so Brenda Berry. Isn't this gorgeous? Come on, y'all. So pretty. Look at that. I call those skeleton flowers. They remind me of skeleton. Look, y'all are just like me. It looks like a Brenda pack. It does. Oh, she'd love this page because look, it looks torn already. She wouldn't have to tear it. <laughs> How beautiful, y'all. Willow said a twofer is always good. It is a twofer. All yeah. right, we're back to the beginning. I love a twofer. So you get two of each page in here. Y'all, this is different. We've not smelled this. That's a different scent. Y'all have to, you'll smell it home ago. She was right. It's different. Oh, I can't show y'all this yet because it's new. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I got to put this stuff right down here. Okay, this is not new. This is a restock. This is the White Craft Perfect. This foam tape is fantastic. Fantastic. Grab that. You'll love it. Okay. Also not new, and I won't be flipping through it tonight because it's not new. Because it is a restock. So let me show you it is this one, the baseball pack. We literally showed this last week, but this week we have the 12 by 12 restock, the six by six, which I don't think we got originally. I don't think so. And then we got the ephemera for it because you guys had asked about the ephemera. So we went ahead and got this and it is super cute. It's baseball season too. So grab this up. Y'all will love this one. Look at all that. What a cute folio, right? You could do a folio like that, the ephemera and that 12 by 12, or you could do a folio without the 12 by 12. Just do that, and that's a folio. Yep. Or you can make one for every grand grandkid and get both. Might as well. Yeah, you might as well. Okay. Now then, let me show you this. Look, I don't think I flipped through this, did I? Did I flip? I think I did, actually. Yeah, because this is a, re a restock, isn't it? It is a restock. And now, I did not bring a whole lot of that in because it's already pretty close to 4th of July. So if you need it, go ahead and get it. Isn't this beautiful? They, the 4th of July paper is always so pretty. I don't know what it is about red, white, and blue. Today at um, VBS, I know I'm not supposed to get off target. I'm trying not to. Today at VBS, 
we had a pro the project we did today was we made a faux stained glass. Well, it's a sun catcher situation. And one of the students was doing it all red, white, and blue. And I was like, I don't know why it is, but that is just such a beautiful, pleasing combination to the eye. It just looks so pretty to look at. There's that. Okay. Are we getting somewhere? We're getting somewhere. Oh, here's another 49 and market um, envelope. And this one, does it say it? Yeah. This one is six and three quarters by 12 and a half flat storage envelope. Um, yeah. So that's what that one is. So it's a little different size than the one I showed you while ago. This is the stencil mat from Waffle Flower. Now, let me tell you something. If you're on a tight budget, and I mean a tight budget because it's not that much less expensive, the media mat is slightly more expensive than this one. And to be honest, I think this one's just as good. And I'll show you why. It might even have an edge. It, well, it actually doesn't have an edge, which makes it have an edge. I'll show you what I mean. Just trust me. <laughs> Sometimes they have to go. What is she talking about? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I say that. Look, this what, one's sticking because it's not dusty. See that? It's really sticking. Look. Okay, that's a bonus. All right. Here's what I mean. See how this has an edge right here? So when you're working with it, there's an edge in this corner. But there is no edge here. That is so if the stencils or whatever you're using on here are bigger. Put that down that way. If they're bigger, they will fit because this one would not fit in my regular because it's not made for stencils. Do you see what I'm saying? This one is too big for this one. Wow, so if congratulations, you're just, SLE. Two new great grandsons. Oh my goodness. That's cool. How cool. So it makes sense. That's why it's the stencil mat because you can get more room out of it. Okay. So honestly, this is the one <laughs> you would. Well, this is the one that we used in my ink class that I taught you how to mirror stamp on. There's a video on my channel showing you how to use the media mat for mirror stamping. I'm going to tell you something right now. It is a game changer. Nothing mirror stamps like this guy. Can I show it? This isn't mine. I can't do that one, but I'll do this one. Can I show them how, what I'm talking about? If you feel like you need to, I yes. feel like I need to. I feel like I need to. Nothing mirror stamps like the media mat. I got to find the right size white scrap here. Okay, so also, do you notice that mine is cut down? I cut this one down so it'll fit in my Misty. That's what I was telling those of you who were here for Craft Acropolis. That's what I was telling y'all that I cut it down to fit in my Misty because it really makes mirror stamping easy if you do that. But I'm just going to do it like this. Cool. And what you want to do is you want to use a pigment ink. Let me get a stamp that I can mirror. I'm going to use this little B. Lucy, are you asking, does Clack live near us? So pigment ink, that's a black pigment. Here's my little bee. And what I'm going to do is stamp it right here. Don't wiggle. One cool thing about this mat being silicone, it doesn't wiggle like acetate. You know, we used to do this on acetate where we'd stamp on something clear and then pick the ink up. Okay, there it is. Then... You put your paper in, rub it down and pick up that image. Look at that. Look at that. And then don't re-ink this guy, just second generation him. And they'll be pretty similar. Look, come on. You just can't beat it. This, this product, whatever this is, stamps or mirrors better than anyone I've ever tried. Let me show you this too. It'll still do it again. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. Come on. It really is. I think this is the best um, mirror stamping option out there that I've ever found. Anyway, it'd help if I actually, there it goes. Squirted it. Squirted it on there. It really is cool. Yeah. Silicone. That's what it is. Yeah, Karen, Honestly, you got to have one. You just got to have if one. You, ever think you might want to uh, mirror stamp and let me show you this i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry vince you don't care how fast i go i do not look if you ever want to mirror stamp you can also um ignore this because i was using this you can trim it down to fit in your um misty and get an even better response isn't that great okay okay i feel like it's a marathon we're getting closer do what 
that's not, that can't, that's got to be a typo. Sam Martin said, we're about to welcome number 31. What? Where did you see that? Great grandchild in late August. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. It's, I think that's I-L-E-M, San Martin. We're about to welcome number 31 great grandchild in late August. Miss Geneva, I have one in here if you want to get that one when you come in Saturday. I'll wow. leave one in here. That's cool. Hey, you guys, I have had this punch before, but I don't see it now. But I love this punch. If you need to make quick tabs, it's perfect for folios. Do you see this? What you do, let's see if I can punch it. Yeah, y'all should have seen me using one of them punches when we were decorating for vacation Bible school. You were a pro at it. I was the dog. <laughs> All right, so this is the punch. And what you do, watch this. Tab. That's fantastic. Come on, that's great. You know how long it, it takes to make these. Now, I have my secret trick. Let me show y'all. If you can't afford this punch, just do this. Well, I mean, you got to have that other punch, too. But you probably already have this one. So if you can't afford that one, what you do, let me cut this down. She has seven children, 31 grandchildren, and 30 great-grandchildren. Wow. What a family. That's awesome. That Christmas is something else. Christmas is crazy. So fold a piece in half if you don't if you don't want to get that one. You have a, like a, a birthday half. every day for somebody. Fold a piece in half, corner round, corner round. It's a tab. See, now you don't have this cute little edge on it. You don't have this, but you can get a tab that way if you have a corner rounder. I know that was super fast. That was a bonus. That one was for free. That was a free one. For free. Okay. This is going right here. Right there. I'm excited about that punch. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. We ordered the large of these. The large ones came in, but... I think the ones we got had like some damage right here. They Weren't they damaged? I believe so. And Amber was like, we're not selling those. But then she found the small one that we could package better. She felt safer about sending these. And this is um, eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is mine, by the way. So I already have a big one. But this one, I'm going to show y'all. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's clack watching because, um, you know, you could make something like this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look. This side's out. <laughs> and then look. Your ink pads go like this. Oh, it's perfect for three. Hey, Willow wants to know if you got cut. She said her nephew just asked if you got cut. It was. she um, saw your red fingers. It's ink from the show earlier. But that's sweet. Class like watching. Look, are y'all kidding me? Look at this. It smells good. So there's that. And then up here, you can put ink or you can put re-inkers. Look, you can put your re-inkers. And it's super cute. Like I said, I have the big one and I love it, but we weren't comfortable shipping it. And then Amber said, I found a smaller one and I'm comfortable shipping it. So, well, I mean, the large one, when it came in, it got damaged in shipping to us. To us. So, we were afraid if when we shipped it out, it might get damaged too. So, so anyway, the smaller one she felt better about. And to be honest, it came in better. It looks better already. So, she said, I have a box that'll fit in. I can protect that. Okay. But if you get two of them, you can put them side by side. It smells so good. Gosh. It really does. Now, y'all going to get that home and smell that and go, what is wrong with her? Um, Jolene asked, we'll be getting the vintage lemon twist paper pack back in 12 by 12 or 6 by 8. I you know, that's a simple stories one. I do not know. Oh. I will check and see if it's available it's gorgeous. still. If you get it back, it won't hurt my feelings. It is okay. beautiful. It's the one that's the lemon with the black and the yellow and the white and a little bit of teal beautiful beautiful okay the david pack is back these are restocks is this a wait did we have noah's ark did we have all three of these we did. okay and daniel so we got noah's ark daniel and david back in stock y'all grab these up 
the Ranger inks, when you say Ranger, do you mean like the archival? Because if you do, they're the very same um, packaging as this. So then, yes, if that's what you mean. Let me know if that's not what you mean. These are back. These are back. So grab. That's right. Because um, Shannon talked about Noah. I remember. Um, those are back. Okay. Let me show you something I'm so excited about. First off, this is brand new, hot off the presses from 49 and Market. Again, she's in my brain all the time. Look at these. Remember how we were so sad because she was discontinuing one? Well, look at this. It's back and better. Look, here's why it's better. The original one, this was attached and you could only have it go in one direction. This one, you can now have it go this way or you can turn it and have it locked this way or you can turn it and have it locked this way. Or you can lock it down here, whatever how you put it in the book. But this is what this is. This is the waterfall enclosure. So this cascading waterfall enclosure features six pages that measure six by five. So you put this together, use it for photos, and you glue it into your book. And it will fit into your current albums. Let me show you. So very cool. So you could like glue this into the inside right here. Let me do it like that because the packaging is mis is misleading. It goes like this, okay? It comes in the six by eight in black and white. And this one is the four by six in white, but you get two, okay? And this one is black and you get two. So the same thing. Now, these have four pages that measure four by four. How cute are these? These are most definitely mine. I cannot give these up. I'm just going to show y'all. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> All right, look. These little guys right here, they have brads. Do you see them? And that's how you put them in. And you put them whichever way you want that to go. And then, look. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Holy cow. Smell that. You just have to. You just have to. Okay, let me smell it. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm going to tell you what this smells like. This smells like a new car. Mm. Vinny, don't that smell like new car leather? It smells good. It does. It smells so good. Look how cute this is. <laughs> Look how cute this is. All scored and made for you. You put your little closure on it, and then you put it into your album. These are going to go away. These are going to sell so fast. I know, Geneva, these are so good. And these are her new ones. But I got to show you something that I think I'm most excited about from her new release. I really do think this is what I'm most excited about. Let me show you. Let me get a sip because I'm just talking nothing to nothing. Take a break. Get you a swallow. <sighs> okay. So if you've ever made one of 49 and Market's albums, you will know that their white and their black is a very specific color. And sometimes when I'm mixing white and black paper with it, it doesn't always match. Look what she's done. She's brought out the black and the white in 12 by 12 cardstock. And I'm super excited about this. There is 20 sheets of 110 pound cardstock in each one of these. It is so, there's so much in there and it matches your pages. So you know how um, these guys already have pages inside them. This cardstock, look at them. They match. And when whites don't match, it can be so frustrating, can it? And hey, y'all, I, I apologize him, if some of y'all's comments are getting missed. We're, we're trying to keep up, but there's a lot of y'all watching tonight, and, and it is possible that Tamitha or I missed it. So we apologize if we didn't see your question. Uh, we're doing the best we can. Eileen, I agree. It's genius to do that. So now you can use the same paper that she's using in her album, and I love that. It It's so funny how, like, you don't realize that, other people must have had the same issue I did, and she made it to fix to do away with the issue. I just love it. Okay. I had something to really surprise y'all with tonight. Where what was it? Oh, it was that. It was that pack. Okay. But now I gotta show you this pack. Okay. Um Melanie asked, is the black solid core? Um, this is solid core. Hold on. Don't don't write that down. Don't write that down. Let me double check it. Where'd I put it? Literally had it in my hand. There it is. Yes, it is solid core. Can you see it on the side? It is solid. This is mine. I'll even tear it to show you. The 
Look at this. So it is black. All right. I love this cardstock. So pretty. And it's very cool. Good stuff, too. Um, well, welcome, Chris. I'm glad you enjoyed our accent. <laughs> I didn't think we had one, but hey. <laughs> we don't have an accent. You must have an accent. Look, you guys, this one, the little things. I'm going to flip through this. This is the 12 by 12, but I want to show you the six, the six by eight is available. We have that one. And we also have the collector, the collector's essential kit, which will include the chipboard, the page pieces and the journaling bits and pieces as well as the paper. So you see, you get this, this, and this, and there's chipboard stickers in here as well. I'll open those and show you that in a second. Let's slip through the paper. Whew. It's amazing. I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, Teresa, I think they discontinued that album, but if we can get it, we will. But I think they discontinued it. All right, I have bad news, y'all. I'm going to have to put all these back in myself because Shannon's not here. Take your time. You mean just sit here and smell it? If you need to. They loveliness, love it. Loveliness, loveliness. Oh, wow. Come on, Simple Stories. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, that's kind of, they did red. Of course, I did pink tonight. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, the chat is really screaming by. So, I mean, it's Mine's very easy for us to miss something. Oops, I was upside down. I think, um, um, also, let me say this. If you're on YouTube, you may not realize we also have the Facebook in here also. So what Vinny's watching is YouTube and Facebook chat. So it's really fun. Yeah. It, and so I got two chat windows popped up. And so it's like pulling me away. Look at this. Um, Polly, uh, the, Bonnie said Polly's question was, did I get her card? You did. We opened it. It's been a while ago that we opened it. Yeah. yeah. So yes, ma'am, Miss Polly, we did get it. Thank you very much. Look at these cameras. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> we need. I'm not going to Paper Sniffers Anonymous. If there's one thing I can do, I'm sniffing paper. <laughs> That's true. Will there know. be any online classes in July? Um, It's possible. It's possible. There's a possibility. I can't tell you anything until Shannon comes home. <laughs> yeah. I need Shannon home so she can tell me what I'm doing. Look at this. Ah. Uh, Oh, this is beautiful. I love that one right there. Those are tiny strawberries. Tiny straw. Oh, where's my purple fans at? Where's my purple girl? Ain't nothing well, anonymous about camera, it. Oh, okay. The Wait. camera did not make that purple look near as Lucy sweet said as there ain't is. nothing anonymous about it, so I'm good. I don't have to hide my love of, of paper sniffing. That'll help with those other colors. That's so pretty. <laughs> look at this paper. There's an intervention class for me. This is black and white. This is adorable. Hey, so Y'all be sure to give cute. us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. If you're enjoying the show tonight, uh, those thumbs up mean a bonus to like us. Like Not, it, it just means a lot to us. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing. There's no, there's no financial bonus no, to no. it. It's just, it just lets like YouTube it. know you're enjoying it. And maybe they'll share us with other people. And you know what I heard this week? No, Listen, I don't know. I heard. So there's a channel I watch that teaches me how to do YouTube, right? And they were like, now we're not really sure that that's what it does after all. So who knows the algorithm? Who yeah. knows? Yeah, who knows? Know. Now, here's something I love about Simple Stories, you guys. You see, these are tags and they're beautiful. But look, I love that they're actually tags on the front and the back. So even if you get to this page and go, I don't know what I'll do with that. Cut them out, put them in your gift wrap collection, wherever you keep your gift wrap stuff and you have bags. Isn't that great? Clack gave me a thumbs up. Is that, that's not the kind I want, Clack. You know how the algorithm works. <laughs> there's Look a comedian in every pretty. bunch. There's one it? in every bunch. You said a comedian. I just said there's one in every bunch. It might not be a good one. Look at this. This is cute. See, they, they trust me. Look at those little black dots. They agree. Um, Squirrel. <laughs> I need to cut him out and just have him here whenever I squirrel. Squirrel. Look at this. I'm so into strawberries. Oh, look. 
Y'all, at some point in time before we get off, I will try to bring Bean in. Oh, definitely. She's being very good. She's not making right a now. She's sound. being pretty good. That means yes. she's sound asleep. That means she won't sleep at home. Oh my word! Look at that page. That's pretty. Y'all, Bean is the goodest girl. She is the goodest girl, isn't she? Yeah. You yeah. don't like my word, goodest. That's how I just was trying to it. figure it out. That's how doggy say it. Look at that plaid. Y'all, we're going to be able to make plaid in those unusual colors now with this guy. I can't wait to play. Look at that. We'll be able to do that. Oh, love it. Love it. And then stickers. Now, I will say if y'all buy this paper out tonight, we will order more. So look at that bunny. So cute. It's so pretty. I can't imagine it won't be gone. The colors are so good. They're so good. All right. I will help you, Tam. I think that's it. So I can help you with questions now. God love you. She's throwing links and answering questions and da-da-da-da-da. Y'all throw them up now. We'll help. And y'all just can't imagine. That chat is screaming by on our end. So, again, we apologize if we missed your question. We're not trying to be ugly or anything. We Arlene has said my favorite best. thing of the night. I'm convinced there is no algorithm. Somewhere there's a room full of toddlers in charge of notifications and suggestions. I am convinced as well. The blue did look like China. Did y'all see Brenda's latest video? Brenda's got the blues. She showed all her blue. What is that called? Um, is it Blue Willow that Brenda collects? I can't remember. All right. Would you be? I did not demo it. Thank That's you right. for telling That's me that. Thank you for telling say. me that. Okay. So here's this. Susan, we are still stocking Mente paper. And as a matter of fact, Amber and I are working on an order right now. Uh, so Can I just be gut level soon. honest with everybody? Their last release, I didn't gush over. Well, there was a couple that I think we're going to still bring in. I, there were two that I loved. Yeah. And we were like, let's wait and see if there's more coming. And so, I was like, I don't want to, I don't know. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And that's not fair because we're different people. So like if y'all saw them, y'all might be like, I'm loving that one, whatever. But unfortunately, I'm our buyer. Although... It's getting better because now Amber's also helping to buy. So you'll see a lot of different stuff. Thank goodness. Right. Okay. Look, my acrylic block, you put it down like this and look, I can get right to the edge of that page and then you tear it. She made noise. Did you hear I heard her. Yeah. Look at that. I love this trick. Don't waste your tape. Uh, like are this. you getting close to where we can bring her in? Yes. Let okay, me well, do I'm it. Don't step waste out it and let her go potty. And let her go to the restroom okay. before I bring her in here. Look at that. Isn't that great? That's what I love this for. Yeah, so get excited because Amber's helping with buying. And so you'll have another eye. And Amber has a good eye. So it won't just be me going, nah. <laughs> nah. Well, sometimes, I you. sometimes you go nah too. Sometimes you're like, no. Um, wow, guys. Okay, I'm just going to sit back while y'all chat. I'm, I am looking at the, at the um, questions though. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Disney. Okay, simple story. Oh, that's Tamitha. Yeah, you're going to get a bean sighting. You're going to see bean. Bean ween. That's what we call her. Bean ween. Y'all, I'll tell you about bean. This is what I was telling you. She's so good. And if I see a question, I'll, I'll try to grab it. She's so good. So we had to have our back porch redone, like our deck. Who The guys that built it, they didn't do a very good job. And it's held up for about, I think it was 11 years, Vince said it's held up. But the boards were they I think they didn't use the right nails or something it was the contractor was telling us and the boards were coming up so where our stairs were not only did we have our stairs were not code so like we had these crazy height stairs and then where we went to step the boards were coming up and were like trip hazards for us right and so it's already back as Vince's parents struggle because the stairs were not um code up to code so coming up the stairs was hard so we we wanted to have the thing redone so we didn't think about once they take that deck down, the girls can't go in and out, especially the wings. They can't go in and out in the backyard. So we, for a couple of days, would go home and I would go upstairs and Vince would go out back and I would go get a dog and hand to Vince. And we did that five times, handing dogs. And I'm like, we can't do this five days. And then after that, there was um, a time where they had to put up like the joists. And here was the big issue. Like the weans, the weenie dogs, we knew they had to go. So we called my stepmom and they're boarding with her. She has like a resort for animals. If you ever come visit and you need a place to board your dogs, Karen's a way to go. She takes care of them like they're, they're her own. So she's got the weenie dogs, which has been fantastic. But Bean 
could flat foot from the ground into the house. Now, as weenie dog owners whose legs are this long, let me see if I can change this where you'll be able to see her better. Let me see. Let me edit. I'm going to remove that camera. Can I remove that camera? Did that mess anything up? Y'all let me know if you lost sound or anything. Okay. But weenie dog legs are this long. They're not flat footing a four foot gap. It actually might've been four and a half feet. Bean could jump from the ground up, but she couldn't quite make it in. And it scared me because I was afraid she was going to hurt her belly doing that. Well, anyway, here she comes. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. You going to go sit with daddy? So anyway, we took her to the vet and she stayed at the vets for about what? We picked her up yesterday? We picked her up yesterday? They finished the porch and as soon as they, there was no railings on it. So here's how this had to work. There was no railings on it. Well, Bean won't jump off that rail. Bean is not a height person where like edges go, but the weenie dogs might have. So the weens we pick up tomorrow. I think we got Bean yesterday. She is so excited, y'all. She said, so, but she's such a good girl, y'all. She is huge. Are you going to be able to get her up in your lap? She's huge, y'all. All right, I'm going to scroll and see if I miss any questions. Topaz, I don't think I've seen the picture yet. It may be because I haven't been in the office this week. I've been at VBS. Is she licking you? Beeween, look at mama. Beeween. Hey, big girl. Hey, look up. Beeween. Hey, darling. Hey, darling. Beeween. 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 Oh, bean. Oh, bean. Oh, bean. Oh, bean. Look how big she is, y'all. Lift up just a little bit. Well, I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> she's so big in your lap. Isn't she beautiful, y'all? She's so pretty, and she's such a good girl. Yeah, she has really grown fast. Let's see. She loves her daddy. Listen, she loves her mama, too, but she'll come in the house, and she'll sit with me on the couch or whatever, but if, if, if Vince leaves the room, She's on point till he comes back. And then when he comes back, she sits and waits on him <laughs> to walk in the room. <laughs> Thank y'all. She's so big. She, Eileen, she is a Brock Francais, which is a French pointer. And she is wonderful. Y'all, when we go to the car, when we leave here tonight, Vince will walk her out there on her lead. She will jump into the car. We have, I think this is brilliant, by the way, if you've never done this, Vince needed a pillow for her, but she's so long, it was hard to find one. He got a, um, what's it called? A outdoor chair cushion. Yeah. One of those that sits up, you know, it's as long as she is actually a little longer than her. So that's in our, in our seat. She jumps up on her cushion and then we have her strap that straps her in and she rides. She loves to ride. She is a big small baby girl. Miss Geneva wants you to bring her so that she and Opal can see her. Um, <laughs> Y'all, when we take her to the vet, they don't want to give her back. <laughs> she gone. You want to shut the door? You will put her back on. Um, yeah, we take her to the to the vet. Vince will go in and go, can I have my dog? And they'll go, who's your dog? And he'll go, Bean. And they're like, oh, we don't have a Bean. Well, Bean, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, who did you did you tag me with her question? Hold on, I don't see it, Tam. Was it me? Polly asked at one point in time, "Do we know what show it was on?" Uh, I don't have a clue. Oh, I do not. I do not remember. Hey, Wayne. Uh, no, ma'am. She's like one of I sniffed the paper around here. <laughs> She's just sniffing paper. I can't really blame you. It smells good, doesn't it? Good. I know. Smoke delicious. Whoa. Nope. Can't have right, that either. Someone said, Good girl. Um, hang on. Any virtual classes? I don't have any updates on virtual classes yet, but the minute Shannon gets back, we have some to get scheduled for you guys. Um, Timothy said, How do you store your dyes? I don't have a lot of dyes. Y'all will be shocked. I don't have a lot of dyes. I have them in this container. Oh, I took my overhead out. I have them in this container. It's half dyes and half embossing folders. I have some sitting beside it. And then I have Eileen's dye on the bookshelf underneath it. Y'all, I don't have many dyes, y'all. I'm not someone who collects like all the, like, all the, I like my dyes to be very evergreen. I can use for all kinds of projects. So I don't have a lot, but that's how I have them in one of those 
little um, dollar twenty nine boxes. Come back. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Bing, come. Come. How big will she get? Um, I think. Oh Lord, we're in trouble. She's all wrapped up in that leash, and she's chasing a bottle. Here, I'm gonna shut the door so you can let her go. I got her. She came back. She'll be fine. She'll be it's fine. It's a dog that loves a, 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 a bottle. She is going to be about the size of a lab. Not yeah, quite, I think she as, should be about, round. probably about 60 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. You have, oh, Karen has an Airedale that lets her ride. They have to sneak out of the house. Uh, 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 Bing's kind of to that point. She wants to go with us when we go. Sit. She likes to go places. Bing. Sit. Good girl. Let's see. Okay, have I gotten them all? I want virtual. Yes, okay. Clack. Bean loves you too. She does love Clack. She was very good for Clack when he was yeah. here. Um, she's no Max. Like, have y'all? Yeah, seen I mean, Max? she ain't Max. We need to have Clack. I don't know. I don't want to say bring Max. Max terrifies me. Like, no, ma'am. Whoo, Max is something else. Max is very, very well maintained and behaved very well. Okay, here, hold on. I'm trying to catch up. Okay, my weenie dog rides in a kennel in the car. She's a little overwhelmed. Our dog, our weenies ride in kennels too. Um, Eileen can help me not having too many dice. <laughs> I will take them, Eileen. I'll take them. Um, you love her ears. Claim <laughs> bean. That dog loves me. That I can hear him say it. That dog loves me. Okay. Um. We had to spell out the word ball. <laughs> we had to spell out the word ball because our dogs. Um, I told y'all the story about Addie learning how to spell her first word when she was with her grams, right? Michelle, she doesn't come every day, but she comes a lot of days. Barb and Hutton, Barb said, cute shoes, man. I don't have any on. <laughs> if, if uh, I think I saw you're coming Monday, I'll be sure to bring her Monday. Eileen, don't tease me because I will. What kind of dog is Max? So I probably don't know for sure, like the actual breed, but German Shepherd is Max something else? Um, Clack. I almost said, almost talked to Bean just then. Um, oh, Alicia, how sweet! Thank you. That's what we're working on, Crafty Mom. Is the um the leftover Craft Acropolis kits, and just so y'all know, like. We're, we're doing City Fest this month with, with our city. And so we have a we have an event on Friday night downtown for three nights. And then we have another one the fourth Saturday of the month. And so Shannon and I have been having to do the maps for that. And plus I've had VBS and plus she's been off. And it's just been a little hard to get that stuff done. But we said, okay, so Max is a German Shepherd. But we said when she comes home, that's the first thing we're doing. That's the first thing we're doing. All right. I think we're caught up. The music of the bottle. She loves a bottle. She loves chewing on a bottle. All right. Are you going to, I usually hold her while you pray. So we're going to wrap it up tonight. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for letting me hurry through. I still, it's almost eight o'clock and I hurried. You did. It's a good thing we went that quick. Um, oh, I want to tell you this. I want to tell you something. A couple of things, actually. Please, Put please, it down. please. If you are a card maker, please head to cardsforkids.com and read their blog post about the me. desperate need for cards. They need, I want to say I read they need 90,000 cards in the next couple of months. I really, really, really need you to reach out to them. I love that organization. They make sure the cards you make get to people. They don't just go somewhere and sit in a warehouse. They actually get to people. And those organizations that pass them out earn prizes from them for passing them out. So, Please, please, please. I, I really do think EK said it was like 90,000 cards they need in the next couple of months. So please check that out. Timothy can link that for us too. Um, it's cardsforkids.com. And it's spelled a little different. And I just um, surprised her with that. And they do not. Um, I don't think they take cards that aren't handmade. I'm not sure I can reach it. I don't think they do. Take a break. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys was there will not be a Saturday night video. I apologize, but here's the deal. 
VBS has been my whole focus this week. And so I will be filming tomorrow afternoon and Saturday morning, but I won't be able to get it up Saturday night. It won't, it'll be too soon to get that video done, but I will have a video for you Monday for you. That's Southern for you Monday night, but Saturday night there won't be, I just can't squeeze it all in. I just can't do it. No matter how hard I try. So Amber Smith said they do not. She said they do not take uh, regular cards, only handmade cards. Pauline says she's needing a service dog. Anyone know of a good breed for a one-bedroom home? I want to tell you something. That lady that came in here with her service dog, and what kind was it? It was a spaniel. That dog was so yeah. impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. Not too big, not rambunctious. That was the most beautiful dog. Was his name Brownie? She's free. Come here, Bean. Come here, Bean. Oh, Bean. Oh, Bean. Come here. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but that Spaniel was incredible. You might want to look into it. She's the kind that has like the split nose, the white with the brown on either side. She was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I took the bottle away. It was you just do, too loud. You do not have to put um, envelopes with the cards. They will take just the cards. Many times they don't put them in envelopes when they pass them out. They just hand them out. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Details on the glass mat I'm using. This one is from glassboardstudio.com. And I'm pretty sure we have a coupon code for it. Tamitha can give you the coupon code. You'll want to use that code. Um, and if you do purchase one, I do get a small commission. They, it is an affiliate link that we can give you. Okay. Make sure I tell you that. Uh, oh, my goodness, Joe. We're blessed. Vince is doing fourth grade. And he impresses me so much with those kids. I, He was so nervous to do this. And I went into, I go in. So my crafty time is like from 10 to 1120. And so when I'm done crafting, I go into his um, review time. And they're, they just know so much. They're learning so much. And and you just have such a good relationship with them. Like, it, it's hard. I mean, it's not that you act like them, but it's hard to see where, they're, where they are and you start and stop. You're not like a teacher just standing up there. They just, they're very connected to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really cute. it seems to be. Really cute. Joe is so cute. He has the cutest grin ever. He only got to do two days and he was so sad about that. He loves VBS. And so, uh, ma'am, you can't eat my cards. I worked too hard on those. Okay. So what kind of cards were they? they if you will go to their website, they have a full detailed list of what you can send and what you can't send and all that good stuff. Um, let me see. Did Tamitha get that link? God love her. She is. You are linking tonight, girl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, all right. So we're gonna have um prayer. I'm gonna turn around and hold beam while you have prayer. And if you have a specific prayer need that you would like for us to be praying about, head to our Facebook group called Created in Christ, and you can share that there. And Timothy will put that on our prayer list so we can all be praying together for your needs. Vin Vinny's gonna pray for everybody tonight. Yeah, and um, we'll we'll head out after that. All right, let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thank you so much for this evening and, and for the time that we've been able to spend together with our friends and our family, God, here on YouTube. I praise you, Lord, for who you are. I praise you that you are real and that there's something special and unique about the way you love us and care for us. I pray, God, that we would be mindful of that. Lord, this week, I thank you for Vacation Bible School and the great opportunity that we've had uh, to share with the, the children of our community. And God, I thank you for the privilege of being able to tell them about your love for them. Uh, and God, that truly following Jesus does change everything. So God, help us to remember that in our adult lives as well. If we just seek you and follow you, God, it does make an unbelievable difference in our life, even as adults. Lord, for those that are suffering from the storms and from the fires, uh, the smoke, uh, God, I just know that those things are terrible. I know, God, you're able, so help us just to trust you, Lord. And, uh, God, I know that you'll take care of those situations in those people's lives as well. God, for each person watching tonight, I pray your blessings upon them. God, that you'll, they'll just know how much we love them and how much love that you have for them as well. And, God, we'll give you all the praise and honor and glory for the work that you do in every person's life. We ask it in your precious son's name. Amen. Amen. Be named NG, too. I'm sorry. I heard that her. Was. She was so excited. She's Whew, she's getting excited. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I had a blast. I hope you did too. 
Um, we will see you Monday with a film video and, and Shannon will be back. Maybe we'll even do a special video telling you when those online classes are available. There you go. So we can get that done next week for you. All right. We love you guys very Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Good night. Till next time. Bye, Bye now.